So, last day of the regatta. Um, you guys have been kind of turning it on towards the end, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, tell me about your regatta. Uh, well, you know, we, it's been going well. We had a good good North Americans and then kind of struggled a little bit at the beginning of the world. But uh, the last few days, it's been a little bit lighter breeze, which is a little more like uh, where we're from. So, uh, where's that? That's in Chesapeake Bay. So, we get. Uh, was kind of more our conditions, but uh, we came out here to learn and get better in the breeze, and I think we're I think we're getting there. We need a few more days, and we have a good one. So you feel like uh, each day you go out, you're you're learning to handle it a little better. Yeah, I think everybody is. You know, it's uh, it's uh, it's tough for people to come to San Francisco Bay for the first time and come out there in that breeze and that shallow water and uh, not have a catastrophe. What's the biggest thing that you're now starting to do differently in the breeze that you didn't know when you got here for North America? Just get more comfortable in it. Yeah. Get more used to the, more used to it, more used to getting around the course and keeping it safe. Is it more about how you drive or is it boat setup? It's more about how you drive and, and your boat handling together and, and keeping it all, keeping it all in one piece and knowing when to, knowing when to, when to slow down and uh, when to keep going. Um. Is it pretty much what you expected when you knew, uh, you know, Worlds was going to be in San Francisco? Yeah, I mean, I've been out here the past three years, so I was kind of, you know, only for a weekend or so, but I'd, I'd, I'd seen what it's all about and had a little bit of practice in it, so it was uh, just sort of getting getting back familiar to it and, and then uh, learning what, what makes the boat go in this kind of wind. Uh, you guys having a good time out here? Yeah, having a great time. Good. Great time. How's the uh, how has the competition been here? You know, what what level do we have here, top to bottom? Well, the world is always you get always the top of the top guys in the class come, and you know the, that's the same with here as, as with all our, with all the events. And here it's been uh, with the breeze, it's really put put a premium on those uh, top guys, you know, because they can really uh, really let their boat handling and, and speed shine. Um, you know, some of the other guys at the in the middle of the fleet, you know, they're really solid sailors, and you know, you take some of this wind off, and a lot of those guys would be well up there and posting some strong, strong finishes and really mixing it up. Um, so I think, you know, I think a little more time, you know, those guys would have gotten up and, and really, really put the pressure on. Them. But you know, it's uh, it's all in all, it's been a very, very competitive fleet. Cool. And uh, Jeff, how's uh? What have, what have you been uh, been learning or taking notes on the, the past six days? Uh, I think the biggest thing for me is um, really sort of learning a new boat. I mean, Tyler and I have talked about sailing 5.0s and sailing this world <clears throat> together for over a year. Um, but until you come to San Francisco and, and sail in, you know, 20-plus knots of breeze, uh, you know, 18 is, is a walk in the park. Uh, 25 is a bit different. So, you know, uh, as Tyler said, we don't really uh, have these conditions very often. And it's obviously different when you're uh, at an event and, and, and racing than it is just going out and practicing in 25. Um, things happen a lot faster. So, uh, you know, I think for me it's just been... Uh, a work in progress trying to figure out you know the choreography of the boat and uh, Tyler's been really good at, at sort of keeping his patience with me and, and um, you know unfortunately uh, we weren't as ready as we would have liked to have been uh, we we've done a, a little bit of sailing out here and we've made great improvements but um, you know until you can be pushing hard 100% uh, of the time in 20 to 25, you're just not one of the top three guys. So, uh, you know, we've enjoyed the last few days. It's been a little bit lighter. Um, and uh, hoping to end on a good note. You've got one one more race today. Uh, does the plan of attack change at all, knowing it's kind of your last, uh, you know, last race? I guess we haven't really talked about it too much, but no, you know, in my mind, uh, we just need to go out and put up a, put up a keeper. And, uh, you know, I don't think we need to attack anybody. Um, you know, the, the difference, uh, chasing chasing and attacking somebody for eighth place at the Worlds is, 
probably not what you need to do. We just need to go out and sail our own solid race and let the chips fall where they may. Cool. Well, good luck to you guys. It's Thank been a pleasure, and uh, it's been a fun regatta. Thanks a lot.